Hello everybody, you know what time it is, it's Wednesday, it's so nice to have you again, thumbs up to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers, I love you guys and if this is your first time, hit the subscribe button so you can see more of me, where have you been? <laughs> so this video is a part C of a series that I've been having, actually this is supposed to be a part B but I recorded it and the, the camera wasn't filming so I lost that footage so I have to do it again and this video is the part C of different types of classmates, you're definitely going to run across this type of people in school so let's go to the first one the first one on my list is the stubborn ones yes these ones are extremely I don't care attitude like they're extremely stubborn they just don't do what you tell them to do like imagine in school when they'll say um, don't fly your shirt make sure you tuck it in and don't roll the sleeves of your dress or, or whatever you're wearing just don't roll the sleeves you know all of that all those little details they never take it seriously. They're always going to do the opposite. They couldn't be bothered. They're just stubborn. And the ones that the teacher will say, make sure you do your assignments. They don't do it. And even when the teacher, you know, wants to help them, they don't want help. They're like, I know how to do it. And they never would do it. Yes, you're always going to run across people like this. I was never in that category, but they are always stubborn people. So let's go to the next one. So the next type of classmates are the fighters you're definitely gonna meet this ones this ones can fight they always okay majority of them have a look to them like you just know do not they have this don't mess with me face you know what i'm saying like their body language everything you don't want to mess with them they're always fighting but not all of them most of them some of them have this very normal look that you wouldn't even pinpoint them to be fighters but once there's a fight or once a fight breaks out they are always is either linked to them or it's they're the cause or they're they're fighting they're the ones who are actually fighting they're always fighting everything for them is physical 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 yeah you're definitely gonna have classmates like that i was never in this category no i didn't used to fight but i always you know always used to have classmates that always fight even in primary school actually which is funny you would have some classmates who are just really i think they have temper problem or something i don't know but you're definitely gonna meet classmates like that so let's go to the next one so the next type of classmates are the bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, tomboys so i'm definitely in this category yeah the tomboys it's crazy but most i think like growing up when i think about it i was usually a tomboy like i always wanted to do things that guys would do i would <laughs> growing up i grew up um, with my uncles so you know men they um, how do you say they pack I don't know how to explain it, but you know when they want to make their private part comfortable and, and they're wearing jeans or pants or whatever. Yeah, so growing up, I didn't even know that. That's how I was naive, you know? So I would also do that. I would pack and then when I wear jeans. And it took me a while when I when I'll be talking with my friends and one of my friends was like, Why are you doing that? It's not like you 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 know you're a guy. And I was like, Really? Why would you say that? And she's like, Yeah, because guys always most times do that just to be comfortable. And then I realized, oh, okay. So yes, I was that much of a tomboy. And I used to, um, I had this certain swag walk, but that was in secondary school. And I think they call it, uh, the name should be bouncing. Like, like you bounce like a ball. I used to do that. <laughs> and I used to feel so cool. So yes, I was definitely a tomboy. And um, I had low cuts. So I think the ways you would know tomboys are their, their attitude, everything, almost everything about them tilts to the male side. Yeah and it's it's just it's just how we are you know right about now being older i'm i would say still 50 50 sometimes i still go do things like a tomboy and then sometimes i just all you know girly so yes you're definitely gonna meet tomboys and that's one of the classmates that you're definitely gonna meet so let's go to the next one the next type of classmates are definitely ones you're gonna meet now these ones are the ones that don't like school they they don't want to go to school they they don't like anything about school actually and you will know because they always try to avoid classes they don't do their assignments they just they don't they don't want to do anything like you know like in but in school most times you would see kids like this they're like forced I would say forced because their whole lifestyle will look like they don't want to be in the school they're just forced to come and they do everything opposite like they don't just do the right things and they just, they're always sleepy not not sleepy but just like carefree not interested that's the word they're just not interested so you're definitely gonna have classmates who do not want to go to school I think I didn't you would see that in primary school yeah they were the ones who even even in kindergarten I'm sure because you're gonna have classmates who will be crying when they bring them to school but then you know they're naive and all that but going into primary school and secondary school I think even in university there are a lot of classmates that you're gonna come across who do not want to go to school and that's just what it is I think some people 
I really not cut out for it. Some people just want to do, you know, hand work or something, but you're definitely going to meet classmates like that. So let's go to the next one. So the next type of classmate is definitely my final type of classmate for this video. Yes. And these ones, I didn't fall into this category. Oh my God, I really wanted it. Well, at the time, because I was young. These ones are the lovebirds. Oh my God. These ones in secondary school, I think Budden House. Oh my God, I used to like admire them. They're always so pretty together, you know. Valentine's Day, they share gifts. They're always cuddly. They're, they're like the perfect couple in school. Everything is perfect. He's into sports or something, and she's into something. He's the it guy. She's the it girl. Yeah. And this, this, this lovebirds, it's it's a mixture of actually different kind of couples. It doesn't really have to be the eat boy or the eat girl. It could be, it could be the geeks, you know. But lovebirds, they're just always so adorable together and. Yes, I didn't fall into this category. I didn't actually. My primary, secondary, mm -mm. So yeah, you're definitely gonna meet them. And you would tell because they, they are, they're just a pair. You're always gonna know like, the, this is the yin to this one's yang, you know? You know what I'm saying? You, you get it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So there you have it. This is all the different type of t classmates I wanted to talk in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen the part A and the part B, Make sure to see it, and I will see you guys next week, Wednesday. You know that I love you, and make sure to subscribe. I love you. Virgo loves you best.